empties video. Um, I haven't been doing these very regularly. Uh, I've also stopped including project items. I think I did that the last time or the time before that. Um, so when the project is actually finished, then I'll include that. So like my uh, project pan roulette collab finishes November 1st. So there will be a whole bunch of empties in an empties video from that one when I do the next empties video. Um, I've written them down, but I haven't done the prices or anything for them. So I'll probably just wait until the end of the year and do, there'll be like a big one where I finally figure out how much money um, I used up over the course of 2017. So it is what it is. Um, so the first thing is kind of random. It's the uh, Listerine whitening. This took me forever to use, it's so huge. Cause I don't always use mouthwash. Um, I quite liked it. I like it better than the one that I'm currently using, which happens to be cheaper, but um, yeah, it's it's pretty good. I don't know if it necessarily whitens your teeth, but I was drinking a fair amount of coffee, so... Next, we have this face mask, which if you are on my Instagram, you would have seen this just recently. Uh, this is from a Daiso 3 pack that I picked up the other day. Um, it's quite, it's, it's okay, it's quite gooey, um, dry, slightly tacky, not too bad like tacky, but I did notice that I have really deep frown lines across my forehead, and I did notice that they looked a little bit softer, so like my skin had plumped out a bit, so that was kind of nice. Uh, my family told me that I look like Jason when I was wearing this. Then we have the simple eye makeup remover. It's just, whoops, it only comes in like a small bottle. Um, it was fine. It took off eye makeup. Um, it didn't sting my eyes. Did all the things that you want it to actually do. So, yeah, I might consider repurchasing this one in the future. I'm not going to repurchase it straight away because I've got another one that I'm trying out. Um, the Sally Hansen Vitamin E Nail and Cuticle Oil. It's not 100% finished because I still have some in the one that's in my bedroom, like my little pen thing that's in the bedroom. Um, but the bottle is is empty. I quite like this one. It's just super duper expensive. It's something like $12 or something in Australia for this bottle. And I go through cuticle oil pretty damn fast. Uh, so, yeah. Then I have a face razor. Yes, yeah, sometimes I shave my face. But I'm too lazy to wax. And particularly if I'm just trying to get rid of the peach fuzz down the side of my face, um, I will use something to shave my face. Um, at one stage there, I was using the hobbies uh, beard trimmer. Um, <laughs> but then Dezo opened and Dezo sells these in three packs. So this is just one out of the three pack. Um, and then we get on to the makeup remover and things that you always see in my empties. Um, just different varieties. This is the Lecure Mid... Lecura from Audi Midnight Smoothing, Soothing, sorry, um, makeup remover wipes. They were fine. They took off my makeup. They weren't anything special. The slightly abrasive is not necessarily the term, but they're not like the actual fibers themselves is not like super duper soft. So it's kind of almost slightly exfoliating. It's not necessarily a bad thing, um, but yeah, they were fine. I don't know if I'd buy them again. Um, I do prefer the ones that from, um, uh, I can't remember what brand they are. You see them all the time on my channel. The ones that got the proper closey lid thing on them. But I haven't bought any of those in ages. Because I've been trying out all these different ones to see if I can find one I really like. So far, we've had no success. <laughs> uh, we have a packet of the Lacura makeup rounds. These are nice enough. I usually use these ones to take off, like the round ones to take off my eye makeup with eye makeup remover. I've stopped really using them so much for my nails unless I don't have the ones that I use for my nails nearby. And speaking of ones for nails, I have three bags of the square. Although they're not square. I don't know why they call them square. All of these call them cotton squares. And they're all this shape. 
That's not a square. That's a rectangle. That's, that's clearly a rectangle. The things I worry about. <laughs> so I have one pack from Lacura. There was 120 in there. There's one pack from Real Care, which had 120. I think these ones came from Chemist Warehouse. They were both fine. They weren't great. They weren't terrible. Uh, they all have the same problem when it comes to glitter nail polish, which is that they get torn up on the glitter. But and one of the daily touch ones, which I bought in a bulk pack of like six, and I think I have one left, or one that I just opened. Um, these are only an 80 pack though. And then I have three decluttering items. I have started doing a new inventory of my stuff um, and um, putting it all on Airtable, which is a website app thing. Like there's a PC version and then there's a version that you can get like on your mobile phone or tablet or whatever that is actually linked in. It's called Airtable because it's all in the cloud. Um, so it's not actually on your computer when you put it in there, it's actually in the cloud, so you can access it from any device that has the correct app on it, the Airtable app. Um, they are free for the, uh, there's a free basic version, um, and then there's ones that you have to pay per user because you actually have the ability, like say you're a business and you have your inventory on there, you can have other people within the business come in and edit if they need to edit and it lists all those edits so you can keep track of them um, and then you sort of like if you're using it enough to need that like you have enough entries to need that um, then you have to pay per user kind of thing so um, but I'm just using the free one and I haven't had any problem yet you get an unlimited number of bases it's just the limit of how many entries per base and I think it's like 1200 which I can put my whole nail polish collection on one base, so that works. Um, but while I was doing that, while I was doing the eyeshadow is part of that, I haven't actually finished. I've done like four or five drawers or something, uh, and I've got five or six drawers left. Um, when I was doing that, I went through some eyeshadows, and I found three of them that I decided I was going to get rid of and not attempt to use up. They are actually older, but that wasn't the reason I decided to get rid of them. Now uh, this first one is this one from Rimmel. This is one of the old Special Eyes Duo eyeshadow in ombre, uh, Ombretta Duo in slow motion to the purple shades. Um, the light purple on this side has a serious hard pan on it and even though I scraped it off, as soon as I touched it again the hard pan came back again um, and the purple just, it, it just there's just, you'd have to play with it too much to get any real power out of it. And so I just decided I'm not going to fart out some of it. I'm just going to get rid of it. And the next one is another super old one. This one's from Maybelline. This is an Expert Eyes um, trio in Oula Latte. I've had this for so long. Um, and it's basically brown, pink, and cream sort of colour. And quite honestly, um, none of them have much pigmentation to them. And apart from doing finger swatches, which aren't the most accurate, I did brush swatches as well. And it just did not seem to want to pick up on the brush. And I thought, I'm not going to fart ass around with this. Not when apparently I paid three bucks for it. Uh, and okay. I, mean, I know this is old. Okay, I'm aware of the fact this is old. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to get rid of it. And the last one, I don't even know where it came from. <laughs> Quite honestly. Uh, this is a number seven, which is an English brand. Um, from Boots. Uh, this is the Heavenly Eye Palette. And for some reason there's only half a palette in here. Uh, I, don't, I don't know, whoops, I don't know what was in this side or where it has gone. Um, but there's five shadows on the other side and none of them have very much pigmentation to them and you couldn't do an eye look with it and it just seems really stupid to keep them quite frankly. And I don't really 
the colors don't call to me except maybe this one here but I have enough colors like that so there's another one that's getting decluttered and literally they're going straight in the bin I'm not going to hand them on to anybody else because they're all old and uh, yeah I'm not going to do that um, yeah, so that is it for this empties video. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there. Leave me a thumbs up if you like empties type videos. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video. See ya.